top of the day, beautiful people. Top of the day. That twabu, that twabu. So I run a few minutes behind today. All right, y'all. We can get started straight away here. All right, it is Monday, February the third, twenty twenty, day sixty two of year two of reading through the books of instruction and the prophet prophets. All right, we're reading the last four chapters today of Deuteronomy, chapter 31, 32, 33, and 34. It would normally be three, but since 34 was the last chapter, that's a really short chapter, we added in. Good morning, Uncle Nat. Good morning. All right, so Deuteronomy, chapter 31. And Moses went and spake these words unto all of Israel, and he said unto them, I'm 120 years old this day. I can no more go out and come in. Also, Yahuwah have said unto me, Thou shalt not go over this Jordan. And Yahuwah thy God, he will go over before thee, and he will destroy the nations from before thee. And thou shalt possess them. And Joshua, he shall go over before thee, as Yahuwah hath said. And Yahuwah shall do unto them as he did to Sihon and to Og. Hey, y'all, calm down in there. Sorry. King, kings of the Amorites and unto the land of them whom he destroyed. And Yahuwah shall give them up before your face, that ye may do unto them according to all the commandments which I commanded you. Be strong and of good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For Yahuwah thy God, he is with thee to go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. And Moses called unto Joshua and said unto him in the sight of all of Israel, Be strong and of good courage, for thou must go with this people unto the land which Yahuwah have sworn unto their fathers to give them, and thou shalt cause them to inherit it. And Yahuwah, he it is that goeth before thee, he will be with thee, and he will not fail thee, neither forsake thee. Fear not, neither be dismayed. And Moses wrote this law and delivered it unto the priests of the sons of Levi, which bear the ark of the covenant of Yahuwah, and unto all the elders of Israel. And Moses commanded them, saying, At the end of every seven years, in the solemn, solemnity of the year of release, in the Feast of Tabernacles, when all Israel is come to appear before Yahuwah thy God in the place which he shall choose, shalt thou read this law before all of Israel in their hearing. Gather the people together, men and women and children, and thy stranger that is within thy gates, that they may hear and that they may learn and fear Yahuwah your God and observe to do all the words of this law. Hey, uh, Willie, I will. And that their children which have not known anything may hear and learn to fear you who are your God as long as ye live in the land, whether ye go over the Jordan to possess it. And you who are said unto Moses, Behold, thy day is approached that thou must die. Call Joshua and present yourselves in a tabernacle of the congregation that I may give him a charge. And Moses and Joshua went and presented themselves in the tabernacle of the congregation. And you who appeared in the tabernacle in a pillar of a cloud. And the pillar of the cloud stood over the door of the tabernacle. And Yahuwah said unto Moses, Behold, thou shalt sleep with thy fathers, and this people will rise up and go a-whoring after the gods of the strangers of the land, whether they go to be among them, and will forsake me and break my covenant which I have made with them. Then my anger shall be kindled against them in that day, and I will forsake them, and I will hide my face from them, and they shall be devoured, and many evils and many troubles shall befall them, so that they will say in that day, Are not these evils come upon us, because our God is not among us? And I will surely hide my face in that day for all the evils which they shall have wrought, and that they are turned unto other gods. Now therefore write ye this song for you, and teach it to the children of Israel. Put it in their mouths, that this song may be a witness for me against the children of Israel. For when I shall have brought them into the land which I swear unto their fathers, that floweth with milk and honey, and they shall have eaten and filled themselves in wax and fat, then will they turn unto other gods, and serve them, and provoke me, and break my covenant. And it shall come to pass, when many evils and troubles are befallen them, that this song shall testify against them as a witness. For it shall not be forgotten out of the mouths of their seed. For I know their imagination which they go about, even now, before I have brought them into this land which I swear 
Moses therefore wrote this song the same day and taught it to the children of Israel. And he gave Joshua, the son of Nun, a charge and said, Me strong and of good courage, for thou shalt bring the children of Israel into the land which I swear unto them, and I will be with thee. And it came to pass when Massa had made an end of writing the words of the laws in this book until they were finished, that Moses commanded the Levites, which bear the Ark of the Covenant of Yahuwah, saying, Take this book of the law and put it in the side of the Ark of the Covenant of Yahuwah your God, that it may be there for a witness against thee. For I know thy rebellion and thy stiff neck. Behold, while I am yet alive with you this day, ye have been rebellious against Yahuwah. How much more after my death? Gather unto me all the elders of your tribes and your officers, that I may speak these words in their ears and call heaven and earth to record against them. For I know that after my death you will utterly corrupt yourselves and turn aside from the way which I have commanded you, and evil will befall you in the latter days, because you will do evil in the sight of Yahuwah to provoke him to anger through the work of your hands. And Moses spake in the ears of all the congregation of Israel the words of this song until they were ended. Deuteronomy chapter 32, Mo, I believe all of, at least um, up to chapter 44 is the song of Moses. Deuteronomy 32, 1 through 43. Okay, Deuteronomy chapter 32. Give ear, O ye heavens, and I will speak and hear. O earth, the words of my mouth, my doctrine shall drop as the rain. My speech shall distill as the dew, as the small rain upon the tender herb, and as the showers upon the grass. Because I will publish the name of Yahuwah, ascribe ye greatness unto our God. He is the rock, his work is perfect. For all his ways are judgment, a God of truth and without iniquity, just and right is he. They have corrupted themselves. Their spot is not in the spot of his children. They are a perverse and crooked generation. Do ye thus requite Yahuwah, O foolish people and unwise? Is not he the father that bought thee? Hath he not made thee and established thee? Remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. Ask thy father, and he will show thee. Thy elders, and they will tell thee. When the Most High divided the nations, their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. For Yahuwah's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. He found him in a desert land and in a waste howling wilderness. He led him about. He instructed him. He kept him as the apple of his eye. As an eagle stareth up her nest, fluttereth over her young, spread it abroad her wings, take them, bear them on her wings. So Yahuwah alone did lead them, and there was no strange God with him. He made him ride on the high places of the earth, that he might eat the increase of the fields, and he made him to suck honey out of the rock, and oil out of the flinty rock, butter of kine, and milk of sheep, with fat of lambs and rams of the breed of Bashan, and goats with the fat of kidneys of wheat, and thou did drink the pure blood of the grape. And Jeshurun wax fat. Je Jeshurun is another name for Jacob. But Jeshurun wax fat and kick. Thou art wax and fat. Thou art grown thick. Thou art covered with fatness. Then he forsook Yahuwah, which made him, and lightly esteemed the rock of his salvation. They provoked him to jealousy with strange gods, with abominations provoked they him to anger. They sacrificed unto devils, not to God, to gods whom they knew not, to new gods that came newly up, whom your fathers feared not. Of the rock that begat thee, thou art unmindful, and hast forgotten God that formed thee. And when Yahuwah saw it, he arbored them because of the provoking of his sons and of his daughters. And he said, I will hide my face from him. I will see what their end will be, for they are a very forward generation, children in whom is no faith. They have moved me to jealousy with that which is not God. They have provoked me to anger with their vanities, and I will move them to jealousy with those which are not a people. And I will provoke them to anger with a foolish nation. 
for a fire is kindled in my anger and shall burn unto the lowest hill and shall consume the earth with her increase and set fire the foundations of the mountains. I will heap mischiefs upon them. I will spin mine arrows upon them. They shall be burnt with hunger and devoured with burning heat and with bitter destruction. I will also send the teeth of beasts upon them with the poison of serpents of the dust. The sword without and terror within shall destroy both the young man and the virgin, the suckling also with the man of gray hairs. I said, I will scatter them into corners. I would make the remembrance of them to cease from among men, were it not that I feared the wrath of the enemy, lest their adversaries should have behaved themselves strangely, and lest they should say, Our hand is high, and Yahuwah hath not done this. For they are a nation void of counsel, neither is there any understanding in them. Oh, that they were wise, that they understood this, that they would consider their latter end. How should one chase a thousand? And two put ten thousand to flight, except their rock had sold them, and Yahuwah had shut them up. For their rock, he is not our rock, even our enemies themselves being judges. For their vine is of the vine of Sodom, and of the fields of Gomorrah. Their grapes are grapes of gall, their clusters are bitter. Their wine, their wine is the poison of dragons, and the cruel venom of ass. Is not this laid up in store for me, and sealed up among my treasures? To me belongeth vengeance and recompense. Their foot shall slide in due time. For the day of their calamity is at hand, that the things that shall come upon them make haste. For Yahuwah shall judge his people, and repent himself for his servants. When he seeth that their power is gone, and there is none shut up or left. And when he shall say, Where are their gods, their rock in whom they trusted? in which they trusted, which did eat the fat of their sacrifices and drink the wine of their drink offerings. Let them rise up and help you and be your protection. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. For I lift up my hand to heaven and say, I will live forever. If I wet my glittering sword and my hand take hold on judgment, I will render vengeance to my enemies and will reward him that hate me. I will make my, air, my arrows drunk with blood and my sword shall devour flesh and that with blood of the slain of the captives from the beginning of revenge, from the beginning of revenges upon the enemy. Rejoice, O ye nation, with this people, for he will avenge the blood of his servants and will render vengeance unto his adversaries and will be merciful unto his land and to his people. And Moses came and spake all these words of this song in the ears of the people, and Hosea the son of Nun. And Moses made an end of speaking all these words to all Israel. And he said unto them, Set your hearts unto the words which I testify to you this day. Ye shall command your children to observe to do all the words of this law. For it is not a vain thing for you, because it is your life. And through this thing ye shall prolong your days in this land, whether ye go over the Jordan to possess it. And Yahuwah spake unto Moses that self same day, saying, Get thee up into this mountain, Abiram, unto Mount Nebo, which is the land of Moab, that is over against Jericho. And behold, the land of Canaan, which I give unto the children of Israel for a possession. And die in the mount whither thou goest up, and be gathered unto thy people. As Aaron thy brother died in Mount Hor, and was gathered unto his people, because ye trespassed against me among the children of Israel at the waters of Meribah Kadesh in the wilderness of Zen, because ye sanctified me not in the midst of the children of Israel. Yet thou shalt see the land before thee, but thou shalt not go in thither unto the land which I give unto the children of Israel. There's got to be a hard thing to be with them all this time, and to lead them to the the place that you who are promised and not even be able to go in yourself because you allowed them to piss you off. You allowed them to take you there and you thought that your righteous indignation or your righteous anger would accomplish the the would accomplish God's purpose. And it absolutely didn't. It got him kicked out it got him i ain't gonna say kicked out because he never entered in i mean he saw the process of it he saw how beautiful it was when you were talking he said you can look at it but you can't go in and that's the those who are in charge those 
that are leaders among people, they're held to a much higher standard, a much higher accountability because what the leader does, it trickles down to the people. That's why the um, the judgments were so harsh because if the king got all willy nilly and got out of line, the people that he served that he served was supposed to be serving all the people under him from his royal court all the way down to the the everyday person who lived that you know lived in a city in his city within his gates they would think it was okay same thing that happened with um in the book of esther and vashti they was like oh king if you let this go on all the women gonna rise up they're gonna think they can they can do anything the husband ain't gonna be able to do anything when he said you might be right okay so we got to get rid of her i mean it's 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 you have to see the principles that lie behind each of the stories it's a it's a principle a hidden principle to those who can't see but it's really clear if you look at it it's it's really clear to see the principles behind all of the stories all right y'all chapter 33 of deuteronomy and this is the blessing where with moses the man of god blessed the children of israel before his death and he said Yahuwah came from sinai and rose up from mount seir unto them he shined forth from mount Paran, and he came with ten thousands of saints from his right and went a fiery law for them for them I'm sorry, from his right hand went a fiery law for them. Yea, he loved the people. All his saints are in thy hand, and they sat down at thy feet. Everyone shall receive of thy words. Moses commanded us a law, even the inheritance of the congregation of Jacob. And he was king in Jeshurun when the heads of the people and the tribes of Israel were gathered together. Let Reuben live and die not, and let not his men be few. And this is the blessing of Judah. And he said, Hear, you who are the voice of Judah, and bring him unto his people. Let his hands be sufficient for him, and be thou a help to him from his enemies. And of Levi he said, Let thy Thuman and thy Urim be with thy Holy One, whom thou didst prove at Massa, and with whom thou didst strive at the waters of Meribah. Who said unto his father and to his mother, I have not seen him, neither did he acknowledge his brethren, nor knew his own children, for they have observed thy word and kept thy covenant. They shall teach Jacob thy judgments, and Israel thy law. They shall put incense before thee, and whole burnt sacrifice upon thine altar. Bless you who are his substance, and accept the work of his hands. Smite through the loins of them that rise up against him, and of them that hate him, that they rise not again. And of Benjamin, he said, the beloved of Yahuwah shall dwell safely by him. And Yahuwah shall cover him all the day long, and he shall be between his shoulders. And of Joseph, he said, blessed be Yahuwah, be his land, for the precious things of heaven, for the dew, and for the deep that coucheth beneath. And for the precious fruits brought forth by the sun, and for the precious things put forth by the moon, and for the chief things of the ancient mountains, and for the precious things of the lasting hills, and for the precious things of the earth, and the fullness thereof, and for the good will of him that dwell in the in the bush, let the blessing come upon the head of Joseph, and upon the top of the head of him that was separated from his brethren. His glory is like the firstling of his bullock, and his horns are like the horns of unicorns. With them he shall push the people together to the ends of the earth, and they are the ten thousands of Ephraim, and they are the thousands of Manasseh. And Zebulun, he said, and of Zebulun, he said, Rejoice, Zebulun, in thy going out, and Issachar in thy tents. They shall call upon the people unto the mountains there they shall offer sacrifices of righteousness for they shall suck of the abundance of the seas and of the treasures hid in the sand and of gad he said blessed be he that enlargeth gad he dwelleth as a lion and teareth the arm with the crown of the head and he provided the first part for himself because there in a portion of the lawgiver he was seated and he came with the heads of the people. He executed justice of Yahuwah and his judgments with Israel. And of Dan, he said, Dan is a lion's whelp, for he shall leap from Bashan. And of Naphtali, he said, O Naphtali, satisfied with favor and full with the blessing of Yahuwah, possess thou the west and the south. 
and of Asher, he said, Let Asher be blessed with children. Let him be acceptable to his brethren, and let him dip his foot in oil. Thy shoes shall be iron and brass, and as thy days, so shall thy strength be. There is none like unto Yahuwah of Jeshurun, or of Israel, or of Jacob, whom rideth upon the heaven in thy help, and in his excellency on the sky. The eternal God is thy refuge. And underneath are the everlasting arms, and he shall thrust out the enemy from before thee, and shall destroy them. Israel then shall dwell in safety alone. The fountains of Jacob shall be upon the land of corn and wine. Also his heaven shall drop down dew. Happy art thou, O Israel, who is like unto thee, O people, saved by Yahuwah, the shield of thy help, and who is the sword of thy excellency. And thy enemies shall be found liars unto thee, and thou shalt tread upon their high places. All right, y'all, last chapter for today, which is also the last chapter of the book of Deuteronomy, the end of the Tula, or Torah. De Deuteronomy, chapter 34. And Moses went up from the plains of Moab unto the mountains of Nebo, to the top of Pisgah, that is over against Jericho. And Yahuwah showed him all the land of Gilead unto Dan, and all Naphtali, and the land of Ephraim, and Manasseh, and all the land of Judah, and the utmost sea, and the south, and the plain of the valley of Jericho, the city of palm trees, unto Zoar. And Yahuwah said unto him, This is the land which I swear unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob, saying, I will give it unto thy seed. I have caused thee to see it with thine eyes, but thou shalt not go over thither. So Moses, the servant of Yahuwah, died there in the land of Moab, according to the word of Yahuwah. And he buried him in a valley in the land of Moab over against Beth Peor, but no man knew of his sepulchre unto this day. And Moses was 120 years old when he died. His eye was not dim, nor his natural force abated, meaning he was still really strong and, and, and full of life when he died. And the children of Israel wept for Moses in the plains of Moab 30 days. So the days of weeping and mourning for Moses were ended. And Joshua, the son of Nun, was full of the spirit of wisdom. For Moses had laid his hands upon him, and the children of Israel hearkened unto him, and did as Yahuwah commanded Moses. And there arose not a prophet since in Israel, like unto Moses, whom Yahuwah knew face to face. And all the signs and the wonders which Yahuwah sent him to do in the land of Egypt to Pharaoh, and to all his servants, and to all his land. And in all that mighty hand, and in that great terror which Moses showed in the sight of all of Israel. And that, our beautiful people, is the reading for today. It is the last book of the Torah, the first uh, five books of the Bible, also called the books of Moses or the Torah or the Tula. We read through, and if you notice, um, chapter 33 was just like um, the last uh, chapter. Uh, well, I would say, what is it? Chapter... 49 of Genesis, where chapter 48 and 49, well, no, I'm looking at it, I highlighted it. Chapter 49 of Genesis, where Moses is also blessing each tribe of each son of Jacob. So you can go compare those two, Genesis 49 and Deuteronomy chapter 33. They're pretty similar, and the no. same blessing with a couple different things, isn't it? But they're pretty much the same blessing that was passed down that their father Jacob gave them as he uh, was about to pass away. So I hope you enjoyed the reading for the day. Let's go ahead and read the blessing because my children, they're up. All right, remember, where does the blessing come from? Numbers chapter 6, verses 22 through 27. May you who will bless us and keep us, you who will make his face to shine upon us and be gracious unto us, you who will lift up his countenance upon us and give us his peace. All right, beautiful people, I love y'all. Enjoy y'all work day. If you're working today, if you're off today, enjoy a day of rest, another day of rest, your first day of rest, whatever it is for you. Enjoy. I love y'all, and I will see you in the morning. Come on. Bruce, go ahead. Stop. Stop, Zay. Oh, I hate hey, you, Bella. You know, I'm about to pop your butt. Oh. Go ahead.